I know we don't like to hear that today. We should evacuate. I'm trying to tell you, as an island person, and some of you contest, we don't run from nothing. <laughs> this storm was the only storm I run from. I'm telling you, an island person, if you run, you're a coward. We don't run from nothing. We don't run from nothing. We don't run from nobody. And we ain't scared of nothing either. <laughs> My friends, it's the same thing when we are going through storms of life. Yeah. When we are going through storms of life, we must prepare ourselves. We, we must board up the hearts. Our hearts boarded up with the Holy Spirit of God. We must gather and feast on the unperishable food of God's word. We must place ourselves in a safe Christ-like environment. Amen. We must pray to God and get to give us spiritual fuel to fight Amen. and to weather our storms that comes our way. And when the storm is too great, when the storm is too dangerous, when the storm is too heavy, when the storm is too strong, we must evacuate to Jesus Christ who will always fight our storms. We will we should evacuate to Jesus Christ who walked on water. We should evacuate to Jesus Christ who tell the storm, peace, be still. Amen. 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 Yeah. We must evacuate to Jesus who will protect us. Oh, yes. Evacuate to Jesus who has weathered every storm. Yes. Yeah. 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 allowed Noah to build an ark of safety. And he allowed Noah to be a witness to the whole entire world. Noah was a witness to the world. And the witness that Noah was to witness to everyone is to let the whole world know that God was upset. God had heard the, the, the cry of, 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 of those who were innocent and God God has seen the actions of men and God was going to send a flood to wipe out all those who are wicked to cleanse the earth church I must tell you today is it the earth wicked right now? Yeah. oh mercy even during the storm there is crying even during the storm there is breaking in is our wickedness heading up to the nostrils of God today? It's a storm that is coming at the end when God knows that sky. You see, the grace in Noah's witnessing is this. That even though God had already said that he was going to destroy this world with a flood, Noah was to witness to man so that they could repent. Yes, yes. All they had to do was repent and go back into the ark of safety. Notice God remembered Noah and his family in this storm. Noah was probably getting seasick on this boat. At 60 foot great waves, 150 foot waves crash against the ark. Noah probably was throwing up his food from the rocking and, and going to and fro on this hurricane called Noah's flood. And God remembered Noah. He remembered the animals as well. Have you ever asked yourself this, this thing, church? And I don't know, as long as I live, I cannot yet understand this. Have you ever asked yourself where the birds, the foxes, the raccoons, the stray dogs, the lizards, and all the wild animals go during a hurricane? If you have a, a house dog and during a hurricane and you let him outside, you will not see him again until after the storm. Come on. During a storm, it would be a miracle if you find a wild animal anywhere. You see, God has been showing us year after year, storm after storm, that if we study, if we become storm scholars, we will see that it's no miracle what God did back in Noah's day. He's doing it today. Amen. And when God commands those animals to go and show them where to go during the storm, just like he did to the animals in Noah's day. So if God, church, if God can remember birds, if God, church, 
church. Yes. If God can remember yes. Israel. Yes. If God's church, if 